Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and the latter, or oh, the others, <laughs> whatever you may be, Commissar Bro here today with the 17th, that's right, I said it, the 17th episode of The Rise of Djibouti. As you know, when last we left off, we had conquered Canada, as well as some of the northern reaches there, yes. And we have completely unified the United Kingdom and taken over parts of Denmark, so on and so forth. And now it seems there are few countries that can hold back the might of sweet, sweet, delicious Djibouti. That's right. That's right. Our amusement park shall spread as they have. Oh my goodness, I forgot about that little tiny bit of Norway. What are we going to do about that? What do you think we should do about that, ladies and gentlemen? It's a delicious question, is it not? The question is, where are my navies? Well, here's my main navy. I'll probably actually go ahead and... Let's just go ahead and deal with this. Let's, let's go ahead and kick this one right in the butt, shall we? Let's see how big this particular group of units will be once we merge it together. Let's speed things up a tad bit. Time's full. Make sure we're not being attacked anywhere else in the world. Relatively speaking, we're not. Which is good. Good, good. Yes, it is indeed. Let's see. Advise warning politics. Yep, we have good chances of being elected. Of course we do. With your booty. And the commissar. They're not going to kick me out of power anytime soon. That's right. They love me. They love me. Because they know. They know that Djibouti would not be the same. Under another ruler. So anyway, let me get off my ego trip real quick and let's conquer what's left of this tiny bit of ice. This is basically one gigantic iceberg as far as I'm concerned. Yes, yes! And it's just artillery piece protecting it. Alright, well we have conquered this from Norway, so let's go ahead and take it over from them. Annex that. And we will let that go through. In the meantime, let us stew upon who is next in our attack? Let's see. Canada. We're still annexing Canada. Let's send our boats over somewhere else. I'm thinking that it might just be time to bring down what's left of the mighty United States. As you can see, they're down to 18 units compared to Djibouti's literally thousands, thousands upon thousands of equipment men and airplanes, and I actually need to rebuild my air force. Ooh, it's so paltry. We're gonna build some of my cheaper ones just so we can pump them out quickly. Come on, get me some shake and bakes. There we go, we'll get a couple of those. I'm not gonna build the Bronator because it's way, way too powerful for what we need it for, but we will build some more deck rates, and we will build some decimations. Wow, look at that. Canada brought in a huge influx of resources. That was not a bad decision to take them over. Wow, that's a lot of money we're bringing in now. Let's look at what our per capita is. 32,400. That's really good. The uh, the Djiboutian population considering it consists of oh, I don't know, 2.5 roughly billion people and each one basically makes $32,000 a year. That's actually really good in, in the overall scheme of things. You know, I mean, I, mean, I wouldn't be upset at that average at all if that was a real life average for 2.5 percent of the world's population because i'm pretty sure it's not but anyway let us stop dilly dallying let the conquering of the united states begin onward to glory yes yes over the border oh no the americans have attacked a bit of canada bring their army down to its knees. It's 18 infantry vehicles. <laughs> oh, well, that was easy enough. All right, move on to the United States. We start from the north. We come like a raging tide and occupy all in our path. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, um, while I'm not complaining, it's kind of sad when the game gets to this point because it literally turns into you conquering and annexing everything. So let's go ahead and move into Mexico. Why not? Let's just do it. Let's just do it, man. Let's just deal with this problem. 
take care of what's left of the Mexican army, even if they have an army. Well, they do, they got 80,000 infantrymen. That are about to get wiped off the face of the planet! <laughs> yes, yes. That is right. Oh, we'll let them do that. And let's go ahead and look at what else in this beautiful world is begging to be Jabutized. Jabutized? Is that is that what we're going to call it? Jabutized? Jabutian? Dacian? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not very I'm not very good with names. I'm really not. <laughs> if it hasn't become like obviously clear at this point in time, I am not much of a namer of places and things. Bam, we're going to annex Mexico as well. And since we know Molly is glitched, let's just see what happens. You know, I've tried this before and it didn't fix the issue. But let's see what happens when we toss a couple of military grain nukes at these people. Let's see, all it's going to take is two missiles. Sure, fuck it. Fire! Fire the missiles! Again! Uh, two nukes! Yeah, see, now that didn't work. Oh, for shame, for shame. It was worth a shot. We didn't get nuked in return, did we? No, we didn't. Good. My approval rating, rating went down considerably. Oh, my. Whatever. I don't care. I care so little. I care so incredibly little. We're so rich. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the Djiboutian budget? As we can see, environment's maxed out. Education is pretty well off. We'll raise it a little bit more. Uh, research, I don't care so much about anymore. Foreign aid, I don't even know why I'm giving out any money at all to foreign aid. I guess we can raise healthcare a little bit. Maybe get our birth rate a little higher, our death rate a little lower. Because we have a, you know, we're losing a pretty big chunk of our population. Which I'm not exactly upset about just because 22% of my population is people who don't do anything. So, I'm not that sad about it, but, you know, you know, it could, could be worse, could be worse. In the meantime, let's take a look at our resources. Although we own gargantuan portions of the world market, and, like, <laughs> the cereals market, we have a 77% share of cereals. Oh, and it just went up, I'm sure, with the annexation of the United States who only added about a million people, yet brought down our balance considerably. But they brought up a capita up, and our gross domestic product has gone up 11 trillion dollars. Inflation is lowering. And that, bam, there we go. There goes that, that increase in the inflation. So taking over Mexico should be a huge bonus as well. In the meantime, who are we at war with anymore? Italy? Is that it? Is that really it? I think that's about it. You know, I want to take over China, but oh my goodness, I know it would be such a big mistake, but fuck it! Let's do something crazy! And make China, or liberate China! How, how, what's China's population anyway? Three billion people! Oh, they've definitely not been, you know... <laughs> their lack of money has not destroyed their reproductive organs at all, clearly. Yes, yes, keep conquering. Conquer more. We will liberate this country of China. And also, let's get our navy over there, and let's do some touch-up here in Europe. And go ahead and take these little bits that Italy seemed to hold on to. Move. Move. You can't, I, I, I don't want to do Occupy Territory, because then I would declare war on China, which I don't want to do. So I'm just going to keep, you know... Trail blazing as it way. Trail blazing, blazing across China, the grand country of. Oh, looks like the Italians still have some soldiers left. Or not. They were here, now they're gone. Whatever. We're just going to liberate portions of China and see what happens. See, doing this, as we can see, this is allowing China to rebuild its completely decimated economy. Because in all seriousness, China was already... If you guys remember back to the really early, early portions of the series, China was in a terrible, terrible spot. Like, I mean, awful. They And that's why their economy has shrunk to literally like 0% resources. Massive consumption, but no production at all. And no way to increase that production. So, conquering China would be... 
as far as it goes with me, would be a huge mistake. But I'm probably going to end up doing it. I'm not going to lie. Let's go ahead and take what's left of Italy. Break that nation! Whatever tiny bits and pieces they have left. Also, we annexed Mexico. Look at that. Mexico was a huge influx of money. And another hundred, roughly hundred million people. Djibouti is looking a whole lot more like Earth. <laughs> like, this is just one gigantic united Earth. Look at how big the Italian army is. Oh my god. Half a million soldiers. And my army is actually kind of losing. They just have so much stuff. I just brought in reinforcements, I think. Nope. Nope, they didn't show up. I need more men. More men into the fray. There we go. All right. With an additional air defenses. Wow. Okay. That worked. All right, we took that from Italy. Now let's go ahead and take Corsica and Sardinia. Yes. Dude, they had they had 750 What? They had almost a million men defending Sardinia? What the hell? <laughs> How did they even fit that many soldiers? What, what, whatever, whatever. It's part of Djibouti now, so that's all that matters. And let's go ahead and finish liberating China. And see if they can't, like, recover. I don't know how they possibly could, but... You know, one day we will, we will, Djibouti will conquer China and rebuild this absolutely broken territory. I'm just scared to do it because the population, they have more population than Djibouti. Yet Djibouti has a, a, like, look how big we are now. We own most of the world. I would say at least around six, maybe, if not 50%, 60% of the world. So, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to recover from this. But we're just going to keep liberating these provinces from Italy so that we can get rid of it Italy once and for all. A little thorn in my ass is what they've been. Indeed so. Uh, well, except for that little island there. We're not going to be able to get that. But, that is appalling. Do you see that? Per capita, zero. Their total gross domestic product is $612. Do you realize a country of 3.3 billion people only has a gross domestic product of 612. That is absolutely ridiculous. That may, oh my, oh my god. They, wow. It must be like Blade Runner and that life in, in China. <laughs> or, or Mad Max. Because there is no way they can function at such a low, like, I, I, I'm just, I'm absolutely... I'm astounded! There's no other way to put it! That is crazy! That is absolutely insane! Oh, man. But anyway, so this has uh, been episode 17 of The Rise of Djibouti. And this is Djibouti as it's looking. We have now conquered the United States and Mexico. We have liberated China from the Italian overlords. And even we have taken over the last bits of the Italian Empire as well as wiped out Norway. We've tried nuking Mali, and we saw how that went. It didn't go well at all. So I guess that's just one to chalk up to the, the drilling bull. We'll figure that out another day, right? <laughs> anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. Like, subscribe, do your business. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I've been playing this game for years. I have a pretty good grasp on it. Anyway, you all have an amazing day.